the face of a stopwatch on the back of a raindrop. I did a swap for the sand in an hourglass. I heard the unhappy ending. Kind of sounds like you're leaving. I did the pile of drive a woke me up this morning. Hi guys, I thought today we'd look at Pile Driver Walks by Alex Turner. Uh, it's a good one for working out three, four rhythm. Uh, that means we've got the quarter notes, the one, two, three, four, but we're only going to do three of them, so it'll be one, two, three, one, two, three. Once you get that down, that's pretty much the whole song. It's, it's pretty simple on the chords, uh, it's just getting used to that rhythm. We have a capo on the first fret, uh, and it's from the film Submarine, which is a good film, so go and check that out if you haven't seen that, and let's go for a close up. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to look at is the rhythms. Uh, we've got a slightly different rhythm in the intro and the verse to the chorus. There's a piano playing like the one, two, three, one, two, three. So we're going to put a little bit of that accenting in. Uh, on the record, Alex Turner is just keeping a kind of one and two and three and one and two and three and it's quite sort of gentle in the background. That's what we're going to look at for the intro and the verse. If we take a C chord, just going to go down, up, down, up, down, up, one and two and three and one and two and three and being nice and gentle with that strumming pattern. And then we're going to add in a tiny thing called an accent, so just strum that first beat just a little bit harder, so it's one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and. So that's our rhythm for the verse. So we've got two bars of C. One and two and three and one and two and three and two bars of A minor, two bars of E, two bars of F. You can do a bar chord F. If you haven't quite got F down yet, you can do F major seven, which is like C, but just move it down, these two fingers down, a string each. Just to make sure you don't hit the bass two strings, then it doesn't sound so great. And we do that all twice, so you go C, A minor, E, F. Once you've done it twice, after that F, he adds in that intro bit again, which we'll look at now. So for the intro, it's just on a C, and all that kind of changes, sometimes you can add your little finger in to get in that high G. It's actually G sharp with the capo, but G. And then we're going to go down, up, down. So one and two and three. And for three and, lift your middle finger off. And then bring it back down for the next one. And then you can start throwing that in wherever you want, really. That's basically all he's doing for the intro and those little interlude bits. For the chorus, we're going to change the rhythm slightly so we get a bit more of that punchy uh, piano. We're going to go one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and... So a little bit more of a swing rhythm than we had in the verse. Just a little bit. So we're going to go one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and... That's on an F chord in the left hand. And try and accent the one and the two. So one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and... And then the rhythm's slightly different with the chords. Uh, we're just going to do a bar of F, bar of D minor, two bars of A minor. Same thing again. F then G, C to E. There you can do a little walk down. over B, so that would be down, down, up, down, up. It's completely up to you guys. And then just to finish, two bars of F, back into G. Sorry, I slightly wrong rhythm. So I'll go through that chorus. It's a bit where he goes, you look like you've been for breakfast at the Heartbreak Hotel. Selling the back booth by the pamphlets and the literature on how 
to lose Your waitress was miserable And so was your food If you try to walk on water Make sure you wear comfortable shoes Then he jumps straight back into the second verse The outro is just the verse At the end of the second chorus we have an extra bar of G. Sorry, an extra two bars. And then you're back in with the same thing. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Uh, it's pretty simple once you get down that rhythm. I have plenty of other lessons if you guys can check those out. Leave me any comments, things I could do better, things that you'd like to see, other songs. Uh, plenty of covers as well and my single as always. Uh, new music coming up very soon, so I'll catch you guys shortly.